Okay, today we started long division, and so I'm going to give you a couple of examples so that you can get better and more efficient at doing it on your own. Um, please remember our device. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers really? Really? Is that a question? McDonald's always sells cheeseburgers. But that stands for divide, multiply, subtract, check, very important, bring down, and repeat. Alrighty, so we're going to mark that here at what step we're on, and we'll move it down as we go. So the first thing we're going to do, this is our problem, three divided, or 58 divided by 3. Now what we need to do first is remember that there is an imaginary line that goes through this number. So we have to first ask ourselves, will 3 go into 5? And the answer to that is yes. So using your multiplication chart, remember, if we're working with 3, if this number is 3, you're going to be looking in your 3's column the entire time. So don't drift off and look somewhere else. Make sure you're in the 3's column. So what we want to do is, using our chart, we want to find the number that is less than or equal to 5 without going over. So we go into our 3's column, and the first number is 3. And so 3 is less than 5. So let's go down one more number and see if we get 1. The next number would be 6. Now 6 is more than 5, so we can't use that. So back it up, and we know that this number right here is 3. So we need to figure out that 3 times what equals this number. So we use our fingers or your, your eyes. So 3 and 1. So our first number here is going to be 1. So we've done the first part. We've done the division part of our problem. Now the next step is multiplication. Now remember that we're pretending like there is a little multiplication sign right here. So our first step is we're going to multiply 3 times 1. So 3 times 1, you can use your chart again, is 3. So you're going to write it right here under the 5. Remember we're keeping them all in the same line so we don't want to drift off. So all down the same line. And so we've done our second step. The next step is subtraction. So when you go through and subtract, make sure you write your subtraction sign, you're going to take 5 and subtract 3. So three, 5 minus 3 is 2. All right? So we got our subtraction done. Let's go to the next step. Check. This is super, super, super important. You need to check that the 2 is less than 3. If 2 is not less than 3 or if 2 is more than 3, then you have a wrong number up here. So, check to make sure this 2 is less than this number. And it is, because 2 is less than 3, and you can continue on. So let's go to our next step. The next step is bring down. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the 8, and we're going to write it right here. Our new number is 28. 28. So, we have our, our last is read all the and we start again. Okay? So, the new we're trying to find is 28. Now, remember... We're using our 3 here. So we're going to go back to the 3's column, and we're going to find a number that is less than or equal to 28. So let's go down. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. We're getting closer. 27, that's pretty close to 28. Let's check our next number, 30. 30 is more than 28. So we know we can't use that number, so we need to go back up 1. And we're going to pick that 27. So we need to figure out that 3 times what equals this number. So if we take our hands and we meet 3 and 9 make 27. So we know that our 9 is going to go up here. Make sure you remember that we're working on this column so that 9 needs to stay in that column. All right? 
So, we've done the first part, the division part, which is on top. So now we need to go to the next step. Multiply. Now remember, we're multiplying here. So we're going to multiply here. So 3 times 9, and again, you can use your chart if you forgot. Go 3 all the way down to 9, and your answer is 27. So we're going to put 27 right here. We did our multiplication step, so let's go to the next step. Subtract. Subtract means we're going to subtract these two numbers from each other. So 8 minus 7 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0. Now let's check. That's our next step is checking. Now we need to see, is 1 less than 3? Yes, it is. Let's go to our next step. Bring down. Let's look. Do we have anything left to bring down? Nope. So that means we are finished. When we have this one here, we're going to bring it up here and write R, which means remainder, because that's what's left over, and we're going to write R1. And that is how you do long division using your multiplication chart.